All right, I got a good one for you in this video. 17 work from home jobs that pay as much as $2,000 a week, and they do not require a college degree. So if you appreciate my team and I doing all this hard research for you, go ahead and cheers the like button and let's jump into it right now. Nice. First one on the list is going to be a bank statement processor. And this is somebody who basically extracts and organizes the nitty gritty financial details of banking. And this is gonna be used in financial and accounting analysis. And a bank statement processor is almost like an archeologist digging through transactions to uncover the story of somebody's spending habits. And bank statement processors make about 69 to $110,000 a year. So this one definitely requires a keen eye for detail. You have to be very comfortable with spreadsheets and basic accounting knowledge is going to be a key to success. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can check them out. But overall, I really like this one. Relatively easy to get into it. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a social media video evaluator. And this is somebody who watches and analyzes videos on social media platforms. And then they provide feedback to help companies improve their content. So this is almost like being a movie critic, except you watch videos on the internet and you rate the entertainment value, relevance, and overall all quality. And considering there are 4.8 billion people using social media worldwide, this is a pretty important position. And they make about 42 to $75,000 a year. Now, some of the skills and characteristics you would want for this are a strong understanding of social media platforms, the ability to provide clear feedback, attention to detail, and having a finger on the pulse of internet culture. And by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So overall, I really like this one. It's another one of those new careers that's in the content industry. Content is the future. I've talked about about this a million times on the channel. I would be a hypocrite to say otherwise because I started this YouTube channel and it completely changed my life. And by the way, to give back to my community because I surveyed you guys and you said you wanted me to make videos on this and give you guys some tips on how you can start YouTube channels yourself. I am doing a live training this week, which you can check out. I'll put the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. You can check down there in order to see the date of the live training. And if you see the video in the future, click that same link and it'll tell you when my next live training is. And speaking of YouTube, the next one on the list is going to be a YouTube strategist. And this is somebody who basically develops and implements plans to help businesses grow their online brand on YouTube. And a fun fact is the first ever YouTube video was uploaded almost 20 years ago in 2005. And the title of the video was Me at the Zoo. And another fun fact is when YouTube originally started, it was meant to be a dating platform. Yeah, seriously, it was meant to be a dating platform where you used videos. Now, YouTube content strategists make about $129,000 to $226,000 a year. So this is a very, very high paying and lucrative career. It's also new, so it's relatively easy to get into. And I recommend checking out ytjobs.co. This is a really good website to start freelancing on YouTube and you can even land full-time jobs. And here's some opportunities. You can pause the video and check it out. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So yeah, YouTube, incredible, absolutely love it. I also have some free training, by the way, down in the description in the pinned comment below on that same page. If you're really serious about growing and making money on YouTube, you can apply for my coaching. I work with a small handful of people every month and I've helped a bunch of people get ridiculous results on YouTube. For instance, Joaquin was able to go from zero to over $80,000 a month as a full-time college student with my help. So yeah, definitely check that out. Link in the description in the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a game guide writer. Now this is a really interesting one. Again, relatively new career because video games haven't been around for that long. But basically you go through these strategies that are involved in the game. You give it people like a walkthrough of exactly how to get through it. So if anyone gets stuck on a level, they can just refer to the guide. Also, it allows them to unlock new levels and uncover hidden secrets. So it can be a really useful tool. And game guide writers make about 54 to $101,000 a year. So yeah, the big thing here, of course, is that you need to be really good at whatever video game you're doing and you need to be familiar with it. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. But yeah, pretty good one. You know, I'd like to throw these fun ones up there. Probably not going to be applicable for most people, but I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. And it could be really good for the right type of person. Next is going to be an online data researcher. And this is somebody who basically categorizes web related content, which helps keep online search results accurate and safe. And data researchers make about 60 to $111,000 a year. So some of the skills and characteristics you might want to have for this are strong internet research skills, attention to detail, the ability to objectively categorize items and comfort navigating potentially unusual content. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a multimedia associate. And this is somebody who basically juggles videos, images, 
images and digital design to bring information and ideas to life for organizations. And multimedia associates make about 51 to $84,000 a year. So for this one, you'd need proficiency in design software such as the Adobe Creative Suite, video editing, and you need to have an eye for visual storytelling. Here's some opportunities, I'll put them up on the screen. So this is a really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a healthcare financial navigator. And this is a position that is unfortunately very needed in the United States of America, as our healthcare system is an absolute mess. I've actually considered creating a second channel just talking about the healthcare system in the United States, but I'd basically just turn the camera on and start ranting. And this is someone who was a former pharmacist, so I know a lot about it. But anyways, this position, you help patients understand their medical bills, and you work with them on payment options. And this eases the stress of healthcare related costs. And basically, you're almost like a healthcare translator, turning the confusing language of medical billing in the United States healthcare system into terms that patients can understand. And healthcare financial navigators make about eighty-three dollars to $145,000 a year. Now, this isn't necessarily an entry-level job. You have to have a deep understanding of the healthcare system. So if you're already working in the healthcare and you've worked with insurance, this could be a great job for you to move up to later on. And some of the skills you need for this are, of course, excellent communication, the ability to explain complex financial and healthcare-related topics to patients, as well as patients, empathy, and some knowledge of medical billing systems. But yeah, you don't necessarily need a degree to get into this, but experience definitely is going to help you. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can pause the video and check them out. Because of the fact that this one's harder to get into, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. But for the right person out there, this one could be perfect. By the way, comment below your favorite career from this video, right? While you're watching the video, think about which one is your absolute favorite and comment it down below. Next is going to be a contracts coordinator. And this is somebody who handles the administrative side of contracts. And this ensures accurate data entry, tracking deadlines, and keeping everything running smoothly within the contract process. And in this position, you're almost like an air traffic controller for agreements. And you also make about fifty-nine dollars to $85,000 a year. Now, some of the skills and characteristics that you're going to want to have here are a strong attention to detail, excellent organizational skills, and a knowledge of basic contract terms, as well as proficiency with spreadsheets and document management software. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Overall, this one's pretty good, relatively easy to get into. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a system support specialist. And this is somebody who provides technical assistance for computer systems, software, and hardware for an organization. And they basically keep everything running smoothly. So this is very similar to IT help desk, except instead of helping customers in some cases, you would just be helping the organization. And it's usually a bit of a step up from IT help desk. So if you're already working in IT somewhere, this could be a really good career ladder type job for you because it pays about 74 to $115,000 a year. So yeah, really good opportunity. Uh, you definitely don't need a college degree. However, you are typically going to need some previous experience in some type of IT related job, which by the way, IT related jobs are super easy to land. And here's some opportunities. You can pause the video and check them out. So because of the fact that you need a little bit of experience here, I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, Think of somebody who could use this video, right? Think of somebody who really needs to get a job and they could use this video and then go ahead and share the video with them. I absolutely love it when people tell me that, you know, they discovered the video because their aunt or their uncle or their mom or their dad or their teacher or their friend or their brother or their sister, etc., shared it with them. And that's my favorite way of growing the channel. Next is going to be a remote honeymoon specialist. And this is somebody who basically crafts unforgettable romantic experiences for newlyweds. And this is, of course, is right after their wedding when they're going on their honeymoon. And what what sets this one apart is your ability to create these tailor-made journeys that become cherished memories for people. And it requires a fusion of travel expertise and romantic flair. And so it's really good if you know a bunch of things to do in certain locations. And typically you get paid somewhere between $70,000 and $129,000 a year. And most of the time it doesn't require a college degree. In some cases it will require some previous experience, specifically in the travel industry. But not always, and it's relatively easy to start freelancing as well. So yeah, this one's really good. Very solid opportunity. Another one of those kind of like new age modern careers. And here's some opportunities. You can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an insurance verification specialist. And this is somebody who checks patients insurance coverage, researches benefits, and works to ensure that procedures are covered by the patient's insurance. And this is almost like being a financial detective that navigates the maze of the US healthcare system. An insurance verification specialist make about 39 to $56,000 a year. And some of the things you're going to need 
made for this are of course a good attention to detail, the ability to understand complex insurance related topics, persistence and comfort with phone based work because you're going to be spending a lot of time on the phone. So this one's pretty solid. Another one of those random uh, like thousands, if not tens of thousands of the these different little healthcare related careers that are relatively easy to get into. They usually do not require a college degree. Most of them do require some training or certifications, but a lot of the time the companies or the hospitals will provide that for you. And here's some opportunities. You can pause the video and check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you've made it this far into the video and you haven't done already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't be a lurker like 80% of the people on the channel are. Only 20% of you are subscribed and let's get those numbers up. Next is an equipment coordinator. This is somebody who manages the logistics of equipment throughout its life cycle. From ordering to installation to maintenance to returns to accounting, ensuring everything runs smoothly. And in this position, you make about 48 to $72,000 a year. And some skills that would be helpful for this one are, of course, attention to detail, great organizational skills, comfort with spreadsheets, the ability to work on deadlines, and familiarity with the equipment that you're talking about is going to help. And here's some opportunities. You can pause the video and check it out. But overall, another relatively easy one to get into. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score as well. Next is a bilingual collector. And in this position, you're basically playing a vital role in minimizing delinquency rates for loans and other types of financial services while assisting consumers in managing their finances. In this role, you'll basically reach out to customers, negotiate repayment options, and document interactions, all while maintaining a high standard for empathy and professionalism. And specifically, this is really good if you know multiple languages. So in this position, you'd expect to make about 40 to $61,000 a year, and you can make even more if you're bilingual. And here's some opportunities. You can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like, and it is super easy to get into. Now, is this something you want to do for the rest of your life? Probably not, but just to get your foot in the door in the finance industry, this could be really good. I'm going to give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be a social media lead setter. An example of this would be setting leads on Instagram. And basically what you're doing here is talking to people. Sometimes you're talking to people who actually actually message the company's Instagram, or in some cases, you'd be outbound messaging people and you want to qualify the person, make sure that they are actually a good fit for your product and then set up appointments for the sales team and lead setters make about 50 to $84,000 a year. Okay. So here's some opportunities. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. So another one of those kind of new age careers, really easy to get into. Like you can seriously get into this even as an 18 year old or maybe even younger. And speaking of younger people, I actually did help somebody get a job and something related to this, which is digital marketing and his name is James and I actually interviewed him on this channel and he was able to get a job because of my business partner Seth who is basically the world renowned expert in getting people jobs in anything that is digital marketing related and you absolutely do not need to have a college degree or previous experience he even got a 16 year old a job and he actually does a free training on exactly what digital marketing is the different career paths you can go down that he recommends and whether or not they are a good fit for your personality and you can check that training out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below so yeah appointment setter is great I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a showing assistant. And this is somebody who works with real estate agents and potential buyers to conduct property showings, get feedback from the buyers, and sometimes assist with light administrative tasks. And this is almost like being a real estate tour guide, highlighting the key features and potentials of each property to prospective buyers. And showing assistants make 44 to $66,000 a year. Super easy to get into, does not require a college degree or previous experience. Also a really good way of getting your foot into the door in the real estate industry and go ahead and pause the video if you'd like i'll put some opportunities up on the screen i'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score could be great for the right type of person next is a we localize ads quality rater in this position you'd be evaluating the relevance and quality of online advertising and you'd be doing this to ensure that they meet search engine and advertising platform criteria and you'd be improving user experience through feedback and surveys in this position you'd make about 48 to eighty-four thousand dollars a year and yeah pretty good uh it's with the website site we localize and here's some opportunities you can pause the video and check them out if you'd like i'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score next is going to be a wellness coordinator and this is somebody who basically designs and promotes wellness programs ensuring people in communities meet their health and fitness goals and you're typically going to be employed by gyms community centers and sometimes even larger businesses and in this position you'd basically be like the human version of a fitness app always there to guide motivate and keep people on a healthy track 
and wellness coordinators make about $56,000 a year. So yeah, this one's pretty easy to get into. Typically doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. So here's some opportunities. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. I'm going to give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you're looking for specific companies that are hiring, and I know I did give some examples, but there's a lot more out there. I did make a video that got over a million views, went absolutely viral. Everyone loved it. And it was 17 work from home job companies that are always hiring. And you can check the video out by clicking right here.